So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and just say this game is really, really bad. Um, it's been a couple years since I found a Super Nintendo game this bad. It was uh, about two years ago when I did my game review on The Adventures of Mighty Max for the Super Nintendo. And this just may beat how bad Mighty Max actually was. Um, so without further ado, let's get into what this game is about. The Adventures of Dr. Franken is a Super Nintendo game that was developed by Elite Systems and published by Kimo on the Super Nintendo in 1993. Now, just like any other game review, I would get into what the plot of the game is. Well, this game doesn't seem to have a plot. As you can see, the game just starts with the title screen, and then you start the game. There's nothing more to it. As far as I can tell, you're the Frankenstein monster, and you are for some reason in Hawaiian clothes, running around a castle, beating the shit out of other monsters. If I were to compare this game on anything on the Super Nintendo, it would probably relate close to Wayne's World. It's just as bad, but not as entertaining. Now you may be asking yourself, why is this game so bad? To put it simple, the mechanics for this game are completely broken. The game works completely against you right off the bat, because if you don't notice, you're already halfway dead before you even start to play. But not only do you start half dead in the game, but the enemies can hurt you by just tapping you. Enemies can hit you off screen. There's always an enemy coming from left or right from an unseen direction. And when you do get hit, it takes a quarter of what life you do have. So you can get hit up to three times before you die. And this is on the first level. In order for you to progress to the next level in the game, Frankenstein has to collect separate pieces hidden throughout the stage, whether it be a passport, a battery, or other random objects. I'm not able to confirm the plot of the game because I don't have the complete copy of the game. If you saw my last pickup video, you saw that I had just got this game recently. I was excited to try it. A Halloween game on the Super Nintendo just in time for October, but I was sadly let down. And I'm guessing that there wasn't any plot for this game, because as far as I could tell, I looked on Wikipedia, and the only thing I could find was a short one-sentence line that says Frankenstein's monster is on a mission to collect scattered body parts of his girlfriend? How are you even supposed to know that when you're playing this game? Now, if you want to talk about some of the laziest enemy design and level design I have ever seen, this game would be high up on the list. I thought Killer Flamingos were bad and the NES version of Rambo, but how about a f***ing fire hydrant? And just to show that this game was obviously not well received upon release, there was somehow a sequel made, but not for the Super Nintendo, but for the Game Boy. There supposedly was a prototype NES and Sega Game Gear version of this game, but it never came out. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give The Adventures of Dr. Franken a 3. This game's platforming mechanics are not very good. It has some of the laziest level designs I've ever seen, as well as enemies. Not having a plot for the game, one of the most basic things when you're trying to tell a story, is just mind-blowing. I want to know why Frankenstein is running around in Hawaiian clothes, is beating up other monsters, and knows how to Hadouken. Hadouken! If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, Hadouken! and let me know what your thoughts were in the comments. And I'll see you on the next October Horror Game Review.